welcome back to Piston Shack YouTube channel and today I'm going to share with you some tips and tricks how to replace the return fuel line on a Caterpillar 525B wheel skitter. I looked online very very few videos on YouTube how to repair and maintain cat skitters and let's get started. Okay, I have old one already removed and I will show you some interesting points what you probably need to know before you'll start removing everything. As you can see, line was fixed in the woods, temporarily spliced, the barb fittings, hose clamps and it was working and it was temporary. Now we are going to do the permanent repair. Or as I know, original line was loose and was rubbing against the drive shaft. Okay, as you can see, I removed all plates, covers, doghouse, shields to get access to that line. That took most of my time. Okay, let's let's dive in. And as you can see, there are two lines. One is a fuel supply with a thicker one, and that thinner one is our return line from the fuel rail back to the tank. As you can see, I have metal wire wrapped to the fitting on the tank and another end to the fuel line was wrapped and when I was pulling I pulled that wire all the way straight to the fuel return line. Okay, there is one bracket on the side of the frame under the cap on the left side. You have to remove that was most as hardest to get. It's right there if you go with your hand and on the right I'll put my camera you can see that stud. There is a bolt and the bracket hard to get you can get there with a 16 mil i think wrench and remove that holding bracket and that will be almost victory okay and then i was keep pulling pulling my line towards the engine as you can see my wire went all the way up i removed much as i could that dirt and debris and we're in the engine bay. There's a new line already hanging. And this is a actually this is a fuel supply line coming straight to the fuel filter and the lift primer pump. And we removed the line return from the fuel rail. Okay, and my new line is already made and I already started the process to putting it back. 14 feet long line and you can see there's a one holding bracket for a bunch of fuel, uh, one, two fuel lines and a bunch of hydraulic control pilot lines. And also we have more on the side of the hydraulic reservoir. I removed the start to relay ignition module bracket to get access inside of those lines. There is only three bolts and the same bolt with a couple brackets for the hydraulic hoses and a fuel line as well as you can see i've wrapped the electrical tape and capped the end of the line and wrapped the wire make sure you can pull it and nothing will get in inside the hose keep it clean and that's the hardest spot to get wire through the tight area where the cab attaches to the engine hood and uh, yeah, as you can see, it will go the same way we pull it out. That's why it was a good idea to use the metal string, that metal wire, and will go the same way. Make sure it will be pulled the same way and how it was installed at the factory when machine left the factory brand new. That on the long run, you will notice Probably if you put it in the wrong way around the different components, it might start rubbing against the sharp metal parts and eventually your fuel line will get punctured, it will start leaking. And one thing, as I said, because while like, that fuel line was rubbing against that drive shaft and that was causing that line to fail, and uh, you can see a nice and new line ready made and uh, we are half done and that is a spot where line was 
fixed, spliced and put that bar fitting connector. We still have to go a little bit. And what I'm going to do, I'll put this hose wrap, that thick plastic loom that will protect our new line from getting failed again and make sure all those hoses will stay together one wrap and touch the drive line okay we're at the return on the fuel rail and as you can see i start putting a new line in already and uh, yeah see my i wrap it line already with the plastic loom that will protect our new nice line guys if you have any questions some comments critics put it down in the comment section below thanks for that and we're halfway through and now as you can see i already put a line back to the tank and the time to clean everything make sure no dirt and you have a clean connection and because it's a flat face fitting you have to replace the o-rings make sure you put on new o-rings at the fuel tank side and same at the pump tied everything up and before you put all those shields covers dog house back make sure you don't have any leak that it, it took me a couple hours to remove everything to get access to those lines and uh, because it's a return line they're usually empty and no fuel no pressure they just I just disconnect it and okay my fitting is tight and uh, now we're going to the front same thing make sure it's tight new o-rings it's all clean and uh, I'll start the engine go and check for leaks let's turn our night switch on low plugs and uh, we have 15,000 hours but this machine runs like a clock because because this caterpillar machine equipped with the cat 3126 diesel engine and we take care of it and it runs 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 like it should very simple way better in my opinion than assert yeah it might be less power but way way more reliable and easy to work on them okay let's go and check for any fuel leaks on our return and let it run for few minutes make sure you don't have any and go and check that line all the way from the back to the front make sure hose is all good and uh, then you know, say if you don't have a leaks you won't have them okay, as you can see I put my line there put uh, some better strapping that one is broken and we'll fix that then I have to put a bracket and all that good stuff do it right take your time put all brackets most of the time i see so many bolts missing brackets were not installed and uh, yeah don't cut the corners do the good repair and all this will pay back okay now time for all of those covers plates and shields i have a tons of bolts i'll sort it and uh, we'll continue it will probably take me a couple hours to put everything back just listen to this engine, so sweet. My fuel line is there. Still have to bolt those brackets back. And uh, yeah, quite a bit of work. Guys, if this video is helpful, I'm so glad. And uh, give me a favor, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. And uh, if you have any questions about Caterpillar 525 wheel skitter, let me know. And uh, yeah, take care and see you soon. Thumbs up. And uh, yeah, bye bye.